So welcome everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI in Australia. Today, uh, I'm going to share with you a video on some modifications on the K970 excavator. So as usual, if you have any questions, um, feel free to email us at info at CSMI or you can leave your questions in the comment section below. Also, you can buy this machine or any other machines in our videos from our website, which is csmi.com.au and there's a link in the description below. So let's get straight into this. Um, so what we have done is uh, we've taken away the original radio from this particular machine and um, I've gone to a more advanced radio which is the DC24. Uh, you can actually control 24 channels on it and you can custom name uh, the model as well as uh, each control on it. So that's the first thing we've done and you can hear the radio chime in the background, so uh, if you're wondering what the chime is, it's from the radio. Uh, and what we've done is we've gone for two duplex receivers, and we've set up the receivers in what we call a dual path. So you go first 1 to 7, and then you go 8 to 14. There is a separate video to show you how to link the two receivers so that um, you can actually... Uh, set it up in that in that uh, fashion. It's a little bit tricky and complicated. You need to follow a sequence to be able to hook up uh, the two receivers. Uh, and the reason why I've done that is because the 14 channel receiver is too big and there was no space to actually fit it all in. And hence, uh, I've gone with two seven channels. So let's get straight uh, into this. Uh, I've done some modifications and uh, it's still in the initial stages. I put... Um, I have to glue this down. I put a beacon up here with a custom bracket which you can buy from us and um, I put a cab light inside it. Now to take the cab off there's actually three screws one two and there's a third screw up here for the back back section so once you take the two three screws from the bottom of the machine you will actually be able to take the whole cab which will give you access uh, to what you can see up here get it a little bit more closer now well you'll see up here um, there's three circuits so this this circuit is is pretty much for the lights all the lights actually get connected to this circuit you can see there's um, two ports up here I've taken them I've taken the lights out from these ports and these two ports are actually the lights for the cab itself for the front light and the light for the front light as well as the back lights so that's what those two ports uh, are actually for and then the other two ports are for the lights on the boom uh, and on the car body itself um, this particular circuit is for the digital display screen inside it and then i've put um, a server on ml4 to actually be able to connect to to switch on the lights um, front of the cab rear of the cab inside the cab uh, and the beacon itself so we'll, we'll show that later in this video. I just want to focus on uh, what's inside this and how to get to this point itself. So actually, if you look closely, here is uh, the first securing screw for the cab, the second one, and then the third securing screw. So these are the three screws that actually hold the cab down. You don't really need to take anything else out if you want to get the cab uh, out and have a look on the inside. While we are here, I've, I have explained this on one of the previous videos, but we'll just go through it again. Uh, there is um, a switching relay up here and what that does is uh, it avoids the sparking and it allows more current uh, and hence the switching relay is used when you're connecting the battery when you're using a smaller switch uh, up here. So I don't know if you can see my screwdriver up here. Uh, there are three speed controllers. This is for the car body rotation and then two for the tracks up here. Uh, this is a manifold that sends all the hydraulic oil from the valves and the reason why I've done this design is to allow flexing of the hoses and this, this is pretty much a similar design that Lieber uses even in the real machines where the hoses have a nice soft curve up here and they're not, they're not, uh, they're not getting kinked as you move up there. Uh, the blue section up here that you see next to the battery, that is um, the speed controller for the pump, nice big section. I've modified my machine slightly in terms of cabling it is I put a longer cable rather than having a fixed connection so I got a little bit of play with the battery that I can use and it's a little bit longer so um, yeah there's a pressure gauge up here um, these are the servos the valve blocks are underneath it there's a pump on this side there's a regulating valve up here to regulate the pressure 
there is a, a slight gate there's a gauge glass up here and you can see the level of oil inside it so that's pretty much where we are with this particular video um, on the next video i will show you guys the functionality once it's all assembled of how the lights work and how we're assigned the switches uh, onto it so as usual thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to email us or leave it in the comments below and we'll get back to you thank you for watching